Welcome to InThisCornerTV.com. I'm Smitty. We're at the IBA Gym here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We just spent some time with former four-time heavyweight champion, 47-year-old Evander Holyfield, who takes on Francois Botha at the Thomas and Mack on Saturday night. We spoke to Evander about the upcoming fight and where he sees his career at this point. Saturday night, uh, you take on... Uh... What did they call him? The white was he the white buffalo? Is that what he was back in the day? Francois Botha, a good fighter. Uh, tell us about this fight. Well, it should be an action-packed fight. Uh, Botha, he's the type of guy that come to fight, and all the fights that he ever lost were against a champion. So he never one more fight to lose against another champion, but he lose against the best one. Yeah, what? Uh, good to be back in Vegas fighting. You're home away from home. Well, um, when when I when I look at Vegas, I think about all the great things that happened. For me in, in my boxing career, you know, people don't even realize to make the Olympic team. I won here in, in 1984 at the Olympic box off. I won my title here against Carlos Didion in, in, in 19, 1980, 1987. And, 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 and so in my first title fight, 1990, then 1993, then 2000 all the heavyweight all my heavyweight championship i won in here in vegas so you know vegas had been uh, been a town for me what has your team been working on what have you been working and tell us a little bit about your team uh, uh tim and tommy and uh, uh what you guys have been working on for this fight with both of if i do that they'll have to kill you i, said, I don't <laughs> want that to happen so i i'm not going to tell you what we've been working on but but I, I will tell you that my team, they believe in me. You know, um, Tommy, and, uh, Tommy and Tim, uh, those two themselves, they've been, they've been with me since since start. Well, well, Tim, when I, before I won the title, but Tommy in 84. And, you know, my nephew Mike and, and, and Ken all came back. And, you know, I have people who... I have people who really know me more so than somebody jumping on a bandwagon because, because I have one and it, everything getting good. So, you know, through all the ups and downs, it, you know, it thrills me when you come down to, because life is about how you end. And, and I always had this attitude that it just wasn't meant for everybody to be rich. And I think that, the, the team that hold on together are the ones that gonna, you know, gonna win the prize. And I think it's gonna be something good for the whole team because, you know, you know, when I was up, they was up. When we were down, we were down, you know. And, and that's what the team is all about. And, and I, and I appreciate that. Is there anything a four-time heavyweight champion can learn. I know the great golfers have told me, you know, uh, I remember Jack Nicholas once saying that, you know, from time to time he brings in his coach to, to sort of remind him of things. What about a, a great fighter that has all the punches and all the skills and all the movement that, that you have? Is there anything you can still learn? Sure. If this is something that you need to know, but you, it's all depending on who you fight. It's, you know, I'm some at, at any given time, that you know, this is the reason why you have somebody to know you. They can, they can say you need to do this, but they never ask you to do something that you can't do, because a good coach is not a good coach. He's telling you to do something that you don't know how to do. So it's obvious that you know, if either either he can make the adjustment or he can't, because you, that's the whole big thing of training somebody. You know all the things that he can do, and so you start working on these things before the fight. Like that, so you have to have this already. Get, have this already. Know that you know what's going to be the situation. What do you need to do? And so you wouldn't have nobody who would actually tell you to do something that you know you can't do. What do you expect Saturday night against Botha? Uh, he's a very aggressive guy, and he's a guy that have a good chin. But you know, but he come forward. He he. he you get hit, and so I really don't have problem with people who get hit. If they get hit, that means a little bit of a good chance to win. Is <laughs> not gonna be good because they get hit. You like guys to get hit. Well, well, you know, I'm telling you, everybody get hit, but when you when you when you don't 
when you don't have defense, when you just you just worry about hitting somebody else and, and like that, and he, he he tend to fight that way. Beyond Saturday night, uh, what do you feel your best path would be to a fifth world title? David Hay just uh, beat a guy you know quite well, John Ruiz. Uh, Vladimir is out there. Vitaly's talking about retirement. Uh, what is your path? What is your direction? And uh, I would think you're in a good position to politic it because uh, there's no bigger name than Evander Holyfield. Well, I'm telling you. Whichever fighter that would want to fight me would be fine with me. And so it, it's not about politics. It's about that the, the number game, you know. And so if if things should be worked out that that will allow these guys to want to risk the title, because the whole big thing that's a, that's a big risk. I'm telling you, you know, it, it's a it's a lot of these guys really don't want to fight because they they know that every time you think that I can't do it, I do it. So I'm saying, you know, that's a big risk. And so the whole big thing is how much money they're going to get paid. You know, so he's like, how much are you going to pay them to risk losing their title? How does Evander Holyfield want to be uh, remembered as a fighter and, and, more importantly, as a man? All right, you know, I just, it just real, real simple. Man of God, and, and, and he, he, showed, he showed everybody what love was to how how God gave him an opportunity, and he made the best of his opportunity. And with his opportunity, he had left a legacy that if you listen, follow direction, and don't quit, you'll reach your goal as well.